Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Good morning and happy Sunday. From Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. I'm up at the very north end of the park up by Wiggins Pass, just watching some of our wading birds feeding up here. Absolutely gorgeous. 77 degrees. It's about 7.30. That's a great blue heron there on the right. Wish you were out here with me. out here this morning. I've only seen a couple people walking the beach so far. Getting that first look at the sun coming up over the trees back here to the east. Just coming up over the treetops. Glorious. It's been kind of bouncing back and forth from across the pass there at Barefoot Beach. It seems like there's always a lot of fish right here in the mouth of the pass. They're always just over here to the left. You can hear them splashing around. You can see them actually jumping out of the water on occasion. You can hear them big time out there splashing. Big time. Look at this sky, man, beautiful clear skies. It's supposed to be sunny all day today. The moon's up there, you just can't see it. Listen to those fish splashing out there. I don't know if you, the mic's picking it up. All out in here. Low tide up here at the pass is around 11.15. That water temperature is 88 degrees. They'll be opening up the front gates to the park here soon. Start seeing the fishermen making their way up here. I love watching these birds in the morning like this. Such a beautiful, beautiful sight.
fish were really splashing, jumping up here. Where do we see that little swirl in the water? Can you see him jumping? Bigger than the little snowy egrets. That's a little snowy running by in the front there. I think that's a little snowy right there too. No, that's a great. They're a lot more graceful when they take off. swim by. I saw a dark shadow cruising through here. Could have been a shark. Good morning, sunshine. being here and sharing this with you hit that share button if you're liking what you're seeing that helps me out tremendously helps spread the word about southwest florida television listen to those birds they just crack me up they sound like geese <laughs> they kind of honk. I don't know. It's white ibis are the same way. They make a honking sound. I could stand here all morning watching these birds, but I want to go check out the beach. See what the beach is looking like. All lined up at the breakfast buffet. They're pretty spaced out right now. Usually, they're, sometimes they're piled up on top of each other. There's a boat heading out the pass. I've been seeing a few going out every now and then. It's a great place to come if you want to watch boats, bird watching. If you're lucky, you might see some dolphins. I highly recommend you make the walk up here to Wiggins Pass early in the morning. Stay out of the park until I open those front gates. But you can walk up along the beach, along the shore. few of you watching have been here, spent time here. I see a lot of you during the winter months, you snowbirds. <laughs> That's the other popular bird down here in the winter time are the snowbirds.
Wiggins Pass. This is where we come for sunset with Boat Naples. If it's a nice evening, we head out the pass and usually cruise up and down the beach at Del Nor Wiggins. If it's windy or rough, we'll stay right here around the mouth of the pass and take in a gorgeous Southwest Florida sunset. I would love to see you on board one of those. We do those on Thursday evenings. Right now through October 31st, they're $40 a person. That's about the only time you can get on Boat Naples at a per person fare. Usually you just, it's a charter boat. You pay for the whole boat and you can bring six people with you. But those Thursday evening deals, that's 40 bucks a person. Complimentary beer and wine, a slancha Irish whiskey sunset toast some time with me that's worth the 40 bucks right there of course that beautiful southwest florida sunset boatnaples.com check out their website they've got an offer going on right now again this is going to happen through the 31st of october you got it. it's called pay now tour later pay before october 31st pay for a tour that's a charter you can take up to six people with you i say mornings are best go out and see that's when you Stand the best chance of seeing dolphins is early in the morning. 25% off right now. You have a year to redeem your tour. You can't go wrong. If you want to get out on the water in North Naples, Boat Naples is the way to do it. Check out their website, BoatNaples.com. Get on board with us on a Thursday evening sunset tour. Pay now, tour later. Any tour you want. BoatNaples.com. Well, it is that time. I believe it is getting to be that time to start walking down the beach. Mr. Sunshine is warming things up. I'm gonna get up to about 90 today. peek at our beautiful shorebirds, our wading birds. So beautiful. Seeing them all lined up here. Boy, sometimes there could be 20 of them, 30 of them here. You photographers, this is a great place to be if you want to get some beautiful photos of birds. background. <laughs> All lined up, posing for us. boat heading out. It's getting busy. Two boats coming out. Picking up their speed a little bit too early there. Water chased away the birds.
a blackbird. That's the call of a blackbird. Where's the fisherman? Officially, the park opens at 8. They open the gates by 8. But they usually open earlier. Usually 15 minutes earlier. Sometimes even a little earlier than that. Hey, friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, if you want to stay in touch and keep up with what's going on here at the park, follow Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park on Facebook. If you'd like to help out and volunteer, become a member of the Friends organization. If you want to make a monetary contribution to the park, you do it through the Friends group, not Florida State Parks. Do it through Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. They could always use moolah. We all can use some moolah. <laughs> the water's looking pretty dark on calm. sandy beach for you to walk on here at the park. Not much in the way of facilities thanks to Hurricane Ian. All we've got really are porta potties at each end of the four parking lots that are open. There's nothing else here, no concessions or Grills or picnic tables, bathhouses, that all got wiped out by Ian. Hopefully, that will all be back someday. But we still have that gorgeous beach to use. So come out and take advantage of it. Get out here before season is upon us. Before you know it, season will be here again. Right now, it is so quiet and peaceful. Saw some beautiful colors earlier this morning. Make sure you go back and watch my first live feed from this morning. Those early morning colors, beautiful. This is my favorite place to be for that, Wiggins Pass. My favorite place in North Naples. I don't know what my favorite place would be if I had my choice in anywhere in the world to be for sunrise. I mean, I think it'd be on the east coast of somewhere where you can actually see the sun coming up out of the ocean. I don't know. Would it be some little tropical island paradise? Probably. There were several great blue herons out here this morning. One chasing the other, guessing it was a pair, a mating pair. That's a great blue right there. But they were flying all around this morning, very active. I couldn't get them into my video. Just when I'd get them in my sights, they'd take off. all those dolphins that were out here last Tuesday. Man, everybody saw them but me. I was hanging around with Wink TV. I don't know if that story's going to make it or not. I'll let you know. 
You're going to be hearing everything, a whole series of specials as a part of the two year anniversary of Hurricane Ian making landfall in Southwest Florida almost two years ago from today, the 28th of September, two years ago. Another great blue heron. Such beautiful, majestic birds. It was an awesome walk this morning. Awesome walk. When you hear me say, I wish you were here with me, I really do mean that. Can you hear the birds out in the water? Our little snowy egrets. I've not seen any white ibis walking by. None of our little white ibis friends yet. Sometimes we've seen some huge groups of them walking up and down the beach, probing the sand with those big long orange bills. I love watching them. Love watching all our birds. Love nature. Mother Nature and Mother Ocean, my two favorite ladies, right underneath my wife there. <laughs> oh, here another boat heading out the pass behind me. Noisy one. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the birds flying back and forth in the background. Pretty active this morning. Isn't this better than watching the news in the morning? A little beach time to get your day started, especially on a Sunday morning. Man, that's what it's all about. Another little snowy egret making its way up towards the pass. Yep, just, well, just it, it didn't want to walk through my shadow, I wanted to fly through it. <laughs> Boy, there are a lot of boats heading out of the pass this morning. Must be really nice out in the Gulf this morning. There's another one off in the distance. I don't know. If you look close, you can see it. He's just kicking it up there. They're kicking it up too early. They gotta wait till they get out of that pass to do that. Shame on them. I'm guessing the fishing's pretty good out there. The fishing's been pretty good at Wiggins Pass. Last I heard, they were catching a lot of pompano.
just the wake of that boat that was moving out, stirring things up. Had a lot of erosion. Hurricane Debbie, Brant seen when she passed by out in the Gulf. Last week's high tides. A lot of little drop-offs as you're walking along the beach here at the park. This was my favorite part of the park up here before it got wiped out. Area 5, the north end. Had a nice pavilion up here where you could have little family gatherings. You could rent that out. A nice little bathhouse right next to it. A really nice grill up here. The nicest grill in the park was up here by the pavilion. Nice boardwalks. They used to have an observation tower here too, but over the years, the trees got higher than the observation tower. You really couldn't see anything from it. You got beat up by Hurricane Ian. They finally, or actually Hurricane Ian, uh, it was before Ian. I think they took it down. Hurricane Irma, I think it's, they took it down after Irma. I've actually got photos of that back in the old days. I used to stand up on there morning, morning and launch my drone from up on top of that observation tower and fly around the park. I had a permit and permission from Florida State Parks. You're not allowed to fly drones in the parks, by the way. But they used to appreciate the views. It was a good way for them to keep tabs on what's going on here, how things are changing. And that observation tower was a great platform to launch from. There was never anybody up there. And it put me up a little higher, gave me better, a better connection with my drone, more of a line of sight over the top of the trees, or close to over top of the trees. If you go back and search my videos on YouTube, you can see some old aerials of the park. Just go to Southwest Florida Television's YouTube channel. Make sure you're on the right one. You'll see one of my dolphin videos right up on the top of the page there, pinned to the, the home page. And go in and hit the search, search for Wiggins aerials, Wiggins aerials, and you should find several of them. I did a couple, flew all the way up the beach with the drone. It's amazing what it used to look like back then. How much it's changed. Change is inevitable, right? How do you deal with change? How do you handle change? Do you go with the flow? Do you resist change? Most people resist it, at least for a while. Not all change is good. There is some bad change. But we gotta evolve. It's not good to get stuck in your old ways. A lot of us do it. We're just old creatures of habit. By no means am I saying you have to accept all change. <laughs> there are some things I will never accept. I guess you get stubborn the older you get. Your head gets harder. <laughs> You know, talking about change. Here's a little reminder. You see that thing sticking up out there in the water? That's a tree stump. Think about that. That's where the trees used to be. Out there was the tree line.
Where's the tree line now? Way over there. Back by the crooked palm tree. Good morning. Y'all are awesome. I don't know if anybody sent any stars, but whatever. If you did, thank you. I do appreciate that. Remember, I couldn't be out here walking this beach, doing these live feeds, sharing the other videos and photos that I share afterwards if it wasn't for your generosity. I would much rather be out here doing this. It's kind of a full-time thing. It's a lot more than just walking the beach. There's a lot of things I do afterwards to keep this Facebook page going. The only support I get is from you, financial support, so keep that in mind. I do get a few dollars from a couple advertisers, but I'm trying to make ends meet here and do something rewarding and hopefully something that everyone can enjoy, so keep that in mind. When you send those stars, I get a penny for each star that you send to my videos on Facebook. There is a fee. Facebook charges you a fee for those stars. I mean, if you don't want to support Facebook, consider sending a tip. I prefer those tips over the stars. The stars, they're like money in the bank. It takes a while to get them out of Facebook. But those tips are pretty immediate, and that's what keeps me going day by day and you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post you can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay if you want to use Zelle just message me on my personal Facebook messenger personal not Southwest Florida television and I'll give you that phone number to Zelle Every dollar counts these days, my friends. Like I said, I'm not trying to get rich. I'm just trying to survive. I want to be able to continue to do these walks, share my mornings with you, share my beach with you. I love it out here. Remember, the whole reason I'm out here is not for tourism. That's the last reason I would be out here is to bring more people to Naples. Although my videos do that on their own, I'm not doing it deliberately. Naples sells itself. There, I don't think there isn't anybody that's not heard of Naples, Florida, somehow, some way. Beautiful, beautiful city, beautiful town, expensive to live in. By no means am I rich. Whew. It's day by day, my friends, in my life, day by day. I am out here to bring wonderful people just like you, all of you watching, together in the mornings, one beach walk at a time, sometimes even at sunset. But that's what I'm out here for, is just to give you a place to go in the mornings, an alternative, something more relaxing to watch. That news, it seems to always be bad news, a little good news every now and then, but that bad news will be there waiting for you later in the morning. So why not hang out at the beach with me? Me and my beach family, the Southwest Florida Television Beach Family. Join our beach family group on Facebook, the SWFL TV Beach Family. You can find a link to that in the description of the post along with that PayPal link. Why don't you click that PayPal link, see if it works. <laughs> I think the water is calming down. I think it's a, it's a bit calmer than it was earlier this morning. Wow. I'm going to step out into it here. I'm looking for a spot where there's no shadows. Again, that water temperature is 88 degrees. The tide's slowly going out. The low tide up at Wiggins Pass up to the north there is around 11.15 this morning. Just looking 
looking pretty darn nice, this water. Yeah. Even with the tide going out, usually it looks its best when the tide turns and starts coming back in. It's definitely clearing up. Definitely clearing up. Feels good. It's looking good. The only thing that would make this picture better is you standing here in the water next to me. Look at that. A glorious mile-long stretch of beach. My little piece of heaven on earth. That's what I call that, my friends. I'm going to go down the beach just a little further. Then I'm going to take a break. But stay tuned. I will be back for one last live feed. Look how calm that water is. Just some little ripples on the shore there. That wind coming out of the east keeps the waves down. Beautiful. Kayakers, paddle boarders, get out here. Get out here. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for you. It is a beautiful, beautiful beach morning here in paradise. It is gorgeous today. Yeah. So calm. Yeah. Wish I brought my swimming costume with me. Uh. <laughs> Boy, I think this is the nicest morning we've had now in weeks. Coming up to Area Roy. I think I'll get to Area Roy and then I'm going to take a little break. If you're thinking about sending some stars, now would be a good time to do it. See if that star link works. My awesome star senders, thank you. Now, above all, thank you for being a friend. Thank you for watching. Thanks, just thanks for being a friend. Speaking of friends, your friends, hit that share button if you haven't done so already. Share my live feeds with your friends. Love to get some more folks watching in the mornings. Sometimes it's pretty quiet out there on Facebook. I think I walked past Area Roy. <laughs> it was just up there a little ways. I wasn't paying attention. Usually, there, I get this feeling when I'm there, that north end of Area 4 parking lot 4. I get this feeling, and I look over, and there I am. I'm in Area Roy. The camera's actually, my iPhone's heating up, warming up here. All right, I'm going to take a short little break, probably record a little dose of Del Norwigan's video, and then I'll be back. Hope to see you watching. If not, have an awesome day. If you're going to church, pay attention to the lesson. 
spread the good word. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies. This beautiful Florida State Park. Everyone and everything in your lives. And God bless our wonderful, beautiful, and amazing country. The place that I so proudly call my home. God bless America. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.